friends, welcome back. Uh, we have seen in the last topic uh, a great tool from Salesforce that is Web to Lead. Now, as uh, we are capturing the leads from the website into the Salesforce, now let's say some of the leads become contact or customers. Now, when those leads become account or contact or you can say customer, then it is our moral responsibility to provide good services to the customer. So how we can provide good, good uh, services to the customer? Like let's say we have sell some product or service to a customer. Now he or she may find some problem in the product or service. Then how we can provide better service to them? So we need to provide some uh, form of mechanism that will uh, allow them to lodge a request about the product or service failure. So let's say we on our website we have created one form that will log the errors or log the request from the customer about the product or services which provided which we provided to them that is fine we have uh, that web form is available but how can we know how, how can we uh, uh, make our service agents to know about those requests made by the customer so again, we have another great tool from the Salesforce that is web to case Same way how we can, uh, we have worked with the web to lead This is another great tool which will provide uh, a solution to the customer in the form of web to case That is whenever a request is made in the form of web, uh, in the website That data from the website will automatically be converted into a case inside our Salesforce CRM. Now, once the case is created inside the Salesforce CRM, our agent will be notified that this many cases has been created on XYZ date and the quick action can be taken and in that way, the customer can be satisfied. So this is how this great tool can help us in retaining our customer because customer retention is a big problem now in the industry so to make customer happy we need to use this tool in order to solve that queries now let's see how we can do that thing inside the salesforce let's move now let's log into our salesforce org i have logged in with my credential and go to setup using this icon so you will have this screen and now we need to find web2 case Click on it. Now you see two items in that web2case and web2case HTML generator. So we have to go it uh, one by one. Let's start with web2case. It is mandatory to have this checkbox checked that will enable web2case. Now, if you want to have recapture verification, if you want to stop uh, unwanted cases to be generated by boards or unhuman things then you can enable this thing for that you need to have register your web on the google recapture service so i'm just not doing this thing right now now you can have these three options like phone email or web generally we are selecting web because the cases are created from the web so i'm keeping that it as it is now when any case is created on using the web to case you may want to give some notification to the customer like uh, thank you for your email or thank you thank you for your, uh, your your request about this service or about this product or about this uh, this problem in your problem in the product or something else you want to send some response to the customer on their request you can use this template to send the response now you can include the email signature as well now we are just uh, saving this so it will have this web to lead web to case uh, available now now second step is mandatory like we need to create the html to have that web to case ready for your website so let's create the web to 
case HTML. So this is the generator form which we can create it. Now these are the list of fields available on the left hand side. We can select any of these fields. By default, these fields have been selected. So I'm just keeping it as it is. And if you want, you can have another fields as well. Right? If you want to create your custom fields inside the case object and you want to enable that fields here, we, we can do it. So that fields can be used in your web form and you need to get a, in order to get that uh, detail to be filled by the customer. Now we can, uh, as we did in the web to layer, we can do the same thing after filling up the form on the website, the user must be redirected to one particular page. So let's redirect it to the Google site. And I'm just not enabling this thing. And now we are ready to go to generate the HTML form for this web to case form. Now I'm just copying this thing, saving it on my desktop. Web to case. Why? Web to case. Yes, web to case. I need to save this all. Okay, so that's it about uh, web to case. Now let's look at the HTML. So this is the raw HTML generated by Salesforce. You can provide this HTML to your webmaster in order to have the look and feel what you will like for your website. Now I'm just creating Bavis P at this and problem on product. Found and description about the problem. So this information I am just keeping so that it will be saved in the case object of Salesforce. Now I'm submitting this request. So we can see it has been redirected to the Google as we have set the redirect URL as a Google. Now let's come back to our org in order to see whether the case has been created or not. Let's uh, go to the cells, not cells. Uh, we can directly go to the case object or we can go through it uh, service module. Now we need to go to the all open cases and see so you can see the new case has been created. Now click on that case. Now one very important thing you can notice is like, we have not provided the contact and account name, but it is automatically generated on the basis of the email address which you have provided or the user has provided on the web to case form. So on the basis of this email address, the Salesforce has automatically create, uh, generated the, or populated these fields on the case object. Now the case has been created. We can assign this case to the uh, service rep or service manager so that can they can work on it and they can fix the problem on the product or service and then they can reply back to the customer so that customer will become happy because they have got their query resolved within short span of time. And that is because of this tool because this tool enabled uh, service rep to promptly reply on the problem which has been created by the customer. So this is how we can make our customer happy and we can retain our customer so that retention ratio will become higher. So that is a great tool, you can utilize it and you can just make your customer happy. Thank you very much for watching this video.